everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the thistle stitch, which you can see here in front of you. The thistle stitch is made up of uh, double crochets and shell stitches. It's a very pretty stitch to work. Uh, it's a lacy weight fabric, so you can see it's not solid in nature, and it is similar on both sides. I'd love to see how you would use this crochet stitch and hear about it. You can drop me a comment there and uh, just let me know how you would use this stitch in a project. So today uh, for this stitch tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of the cotton paint box yarn, cotton aran, and uh, I'm going to be using the color dusty lilac today and I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a link to the direct uh, a direct link to the written and photo tutorial for this thistle stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here feel free to take a look around. There's lots of other great crochet stitches here that you will definitely want to learn and uh, as well don't forget to subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot. And you're going to make a foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 7 plus 4 chains. So today I'm going to chain a total of 25 stitches. There's 15, and 25. Once you have your stitch uh, foundation chain worked, you're going to start row 1 by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in 1, 2, 3, four into your fourth chain work a double crochet stitch that chain three at the beginning counts also as a double crochet stitch so you're always going to work into it at the end you're then going to skip two chains and work a shell stitch into your next chain to work your shell you're simply going to work five double crochet stitches all into the same stitch so there's one, two, three, four, and five. So five double crochets all into that same stitch. You're then going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and work one double crochet stitch into each of the next two stitches. You're now going to repeat. Skip the next two stitches, work five double crochets into the next stitch, Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across, and you're going to end with working those double crochet stitches into the final two chains. I'm working my final double crochet here in my row one. And at the end of row one, you can chain three and turn your work. Your chain three, once again, counts as a stitch. For row two, you're going to begin by working two more double crochet stitches 
into the stitch at the base of that turning chain. So right into that first stitch, work two more double crochet stitches. You're then going to skip the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. Then in between that third stitch and the next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet. So insert your hook in between those two stitches, work one double crochet. You're then going to skip that next stitch and once again in the space between that next stitch and the one after it, work another double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three. Then in between that third stitch and the next one, so if you're looking at it, you see your pair of double crochet stitches in the space between those two stitches, you'll work a shell stitch, so work five double crochet stitches. And I'm just inserting my hook right in between them. You're then going to repeat across, so skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, in the space between that third stitch and the next one. So right now we're looking, this is our center stitch of that uh, shell, so just the space to the right of it. Insert your hook, double crochet, skip that stitch, and into the next space between that next stitch and the one after, double crochet. You're then going to skip the next three stitches into the space between that third one and the next one into that space, Double cro uh, work a shell stitch, five double crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. always working in the spaces in between the stitches. Now when you come to your final uh, three stitches here, you're going to skip your three stitches, then into the top of that turning chain, into the third chain of that turning chain, you're going to finish off by working three double crochet stitches, all into that third chain of your turning chain. just like so. For your next row, your row three, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and turn your work. You're now going to, in between that first stitch and that next stitch, work one double crochet stitch. So in between, in that space between, work one double crochet. Skip your next three stitches, and then in the space, in between that set of two, work five double crochet stitches. And then just like you did before, skip the next three stitches in the space between that third stitch and the next, insert your hook, work one double crochet, skip that next stitch, and then in the next space, work a double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across.
When you come to the end of your row, you'll have your final four stitches. You're going to skip the next three and then into the space between that final stitch and your starting chain three. Work one double crochet stitch and then one double crochet into the third chain or the top of your starting chain. Chain three and turn your work. As for the repeat, that's all there is. You're simply going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So your row two started with the two double crochets right into the top of that first stitch, followed by your two double crochets into the center of your shell, and then shell in the next pair of double crochets, and then your row three, which we just worked. So thank you so much for joining me for this stitch tutorial. Once again I invite you to subscribe and to take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye!